Good news. Contrary to that recent alarmist episode in 60 Minutes, humanity is not doomed to extinction. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. CBS 60 Minutes rang in the new year with a segment featuring a Stanford University biologist, Paul Ehrlich, who declared that humanity is doomed and will go the way of the dinosaurs, that the Earth is undergoing its sixth great extinction, whereby almost all life on the planet will perish. The villain this time of a big wipeout won't be a meteor or a supervolcano, but rather we the people becoming too numerous and consuming too much. Ehrlich achieved worldwide notoriety back in 1968 when he penned a best-selling book called The Population Bomb. He declared, quote, the battle to feed humanity is over. In the 1970s, the world will undergo famines. Hundreds of millions of people are going to starve to death, end of quote. Instead of being treated like those street corner cranks telling us the end is nigh, Ehrlich's alarms were taken so, so seriously by numerous economists, academics, pundits, and politicians. Population control policies proliferated. Worried couples decided to cut back on the number of children they planned to have or to forego them altogether. One noted economist, however, Julian Simon, challenged Ehrlich to a wager that, contrary to what Ehrlich predicted, five natural resources like copper would not experience shortages within a defined period of time due to human consumption. Ehrlich took the bet. He lost. Simon won. Ehrlich's apocalyptic predictions then and subsequently were totally wrong. By just about every measure, people are healthier and better fed today than they were 55 years ago. The death rate per thousand is down almost 40%, even though the population has increased from 3.5 billion people to 8 billion. Billions have emerged from dire poverty. Nonetheless, Ehrlich and his ilk are still at it. In 2014, he warned, quote, we will soon be asking, is it perfectly okay to eat the bodies of your dead because we're all so hungry, end quote. And he told 60 Minutes, we've had it. That a popular TV show would highlight a perennially wrong popularizer like Ehrlich speaks volumes about the downbeat times we live in, wherein faith in the future is in short supply. This is nothing new, however. Over two centuries ago, for example, a Scottish minister, Robert Malthus, achieved Ehrlich-like notoriety with a treatise entitled An Essay on the Principle of Population, where he argued that any improvement in the lot of humanity was unsustainable because population growth would inevitably outpace the production of food. The real threat to humanity's betterment is government suffocating opportunities for people to flourish. The creativity that springs from human ingenuity is limitless in an environment of liberty. Agricultural advances, for example, are enabling vast increases in output while utilizing less land. If anything, worry warts should focus on the prospect that within a few decades, the number of people populating the earth will be declining. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.